Hey everyone, so as I promised in my 2012 best of beauty videos, I said I would do a whole separate video for brushes because brushes, I actually don't think I've done a brushes video before and obviously they're something that I use every day and I actually have got 10 favourites. I didn't pick 10 favourites on purpose, I just scooped up what was in my everyday cup which is now this. This is where they sit, this is from Urban Outfitters and so I just picked up whatever ones were there, took them for a wash because I didn't want to be grubby and show you all my orangey brown ones on camera and then realised I had to put on makeup for this video and do a bit of a finger whatnot. So these are my favourites for kind of everyday use or if I'm going out and I'm going to do a bit of eyeshadow and experiment a bit, I've sort of got all the brushes that I need here and back in the day I was a bit of a avid MAC collector when it came to brushes and I really dreamed of having a whole MAC brush collection but MAC is pricey, pretty expensive, they are very long lasting brushes as you will see, some of the brushes I've had here I've had for a very long time but then early last year I discovered Real Techniques and that just, something just clicked for me, I was like yep yeah, this is a fantastic brand all of the brushes are synthetic and they're so easy to wash and they're quite cheap as well. So I have quite a few Real Techniques brushes here with a few other bits thrown in and there's some that I absolutely adore and that I would recommend that everyone either has in their collection or goes out and tries and there are others which I use but there's probably really good alternatives out there. So I'm going to go in the order that I use them every day and the first one I use is the Real Techniques buffing brush and I adore this brush. I thought I'd lost it. I went out the same day that I thought I'd lost it and picked up another, you have to get it in the core collection, which is the Real Techniques core collection, everything comes with a gold brush because it's all for face, and I went out and bought one, another collection, a whole collection of four brushes, straight away because I was so distraught that I wouldn't have this. It's just the easiest thing to blend in foundation, you can do it so quickly, I've just go like that all over my face, boom, done, and dusted. And I also use it for concealer as well. I pat on my concealer with my fingers and blend it in quite a bit, and then I will just do the finishing touches just to make sure it's all blended in properly with this. So you can basically do any face creamy product with this brush. It is just incredible. And the only drawback is that it is only available in the set. I wish they did it on its own, but I think it's worth, I think the set's about £20. I think it's worth, £20 just for this brush. It is the best. It also washes up really nicely. I was into the Sigma F80, the flat top kabuki, but that is a pain in the bum to wash. All of the foundation gets stuck in there and it's just very difficult to get very clean. Whereas just this, I mix it with some baby shampoo and I'm done. That is just... I'll show you at the end how I wash my brushes. Then this one is the MAC 187. It's so old, it's lost its writing on it. I really like this for contour. As it sort of sat quite unloved in my collection until I found that use for it. Some people say they use it for foundation. I find that because it's a mix of synthetic brush, of synthetic hairs and natural hairs, that the natural hairs fall out and go all onto my face and it's all just a bit of a nightmare. A bit like using the MAC 107 for foundation, you end up having to pick off these natural hairs off your face and it just drives me insane. So this sort of sat a bit unloved until I discovered the Kevin Aquan contour powder and I use that every day and I use this to apply it and it might seem quite big to apply contour. I've got quite a big face um, and also I find that because it's sort of a duo fibre one, you can apply it and then blend it with the same brush. So I don't apply it and then get another brush to blend it, I just do it all with this and it's just the quickest way. The next two brushes are Real Techniques and the first one is the Multitask brush and this is part of their travel collection which I don't think is available in Boots but I got it online, um, you can get it from a few shops online. And again the rest of the collection isn't all that fab but this is amazing for blush. Again it's quite big but I just find it's the easiest one, you can basically just blob it, just one or two blobs and then a bit of a blend on each cheek does the job for me. It's again so easy to wash. It's tinged pink a little bit but it doesn't stain too badly and this is just the easiest one. Cream blushes as well because it's synthetic it doesn't get stuck in the product at all and the product just comes off so easily so good for cream or powder blushes this one. Then this one is the stippling brush. This one you can buy it on its own I think it's around 10-ish pounds I bought this for foundation and just didn't love it for foundation. You can get a really light coverage with this brush or you can really build it up. So it's good for if you want to really concentrate on your foundation and get a 
ridiculously perfected base but I use this for cream highlighter I have quite a few cream highlighters I'm not too keen on powder ones and a cream highlighter and this just go together very very nicely again because it's a duo fiber one it sort of applies it and blends it at the same time so this is a really nice brush if you fancy something a bit different to just using your fingers to apply a highlighter I've got two powder type brushes here and the first one is a MAC 150 brush I got this ages ago I got this when I left from the people who I used to work at my Saturday job with before I went to uni so I was probably just 18 ish I'm now 23 so this is over five years old and it's still going strong and I have quite a specific use for this. I like this for NARS Laguna Bronzer. It's just a nice, it's kind of a bit tapered at the end, it looks a bit crazy because I've just watched it, but it's a bit tapered at the end so it's slightly thinner at the top and then fatter at the bottom and I just find this lovely for NARS Laguna, kind of nothing else. It's just a very good brush to use NARS Laguna with, you can get that see motion on the side of your face really e nice and easily and then the other one which is the powder brush that I use I have got the Real Techniques powder brush but I'm not overly keen on it it's almost a bit too big and it picks up a bit too much product for my liking and this is a Japanesque 933 brush you can pick this up from Boots super fluffy super soft anyone who always comes around who's a boy always thinks it's hilarious to like put these on their beard, test them out, see how soft they are, and this kind of wins always for them, for softness factor, I guess. It's just really big, and I don't like, I'm not a huge powder lover, so I like to pick up really small amounts and just be able to work it like really lightly into the skin, and with this brush you can, and it's nice and soft. That's all my face brushes out of the way, now onto eye brushes, and I'm sure a lot of other people have millions of eye brushes for this category but I'm not a massive eyeshadow lover so the first one is an eyebrow brush and this is from Anastasia Brows just something you can get in one of their little sets and it's got a spoolie on one end which is why I like it and then a quite neat stiff small um, eyebrow brush on the other end this is a nice brush but I'm in the market for something else so if anyone has any recommendations for eyebrow product distributor you know what I mean then do let me know but this is nice enough and I like it because it's got that on the end so it's really good for traveling and then two brushes for eyeshadow this is a benefit shadow liner I got this in a set a very 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 long time ago it's probably five or six years old I think it's probably older than the MAC one so I'd say it's about six years old got it in one of the benefit Christmas sets they had a brush set one year and this is the only brush that's still standing and this is just a synthetic it's like a flat shadow brush. I don't know what the equivalent in MAC is, but it's just really nice for just applying colour just to the lid space. And then blending brush, MAC 217, I'm sure a lot of people would say this. It, I was a bit of an eyeshadow noob before I got this brush, and this brush just does all of the work for you. You can be an utter eyeshadow noob like myself and make it look averagely okay with this brush. It's fantastic for crease work. So I put on the lid colour with a flat brush, and then I just go around and sort of blend it in the crease with this and if you want to apply a crease colour this is a really good one as well. And for lips there's only one brush that's really needed, this is just a lip brush and I think it's a Japanesque one again. Um, Revlon do a really similar one, again it's good but it's not amazing, I really want to try, I think MAC do one, it's a lip brush with a square top, I just think that would be the most easiest way, why do not all, br all lip brushes come like that? Because sometimes the line you can get with these ones isn't the most tidy I guess. So I'm definitely going to look out for a square topped one, so if anyone knows where you can get those from, do let me know. Those are all the brushes, and I did say I'll quickly touch on how I clean them. A lot of people use a spot cleaner, like the MAC brush cleaner, which you can put into, like drop the solution onto a tissue and then put your brush into, and then basically it's dry straight away. They're really good if you're always changing your makeup, always changing the colours you use on your eyes, or you're a professional but I'm not a professional I don't really change up my makeup colors too much so I tend to do a deep clean which is with water once a week I try and do it every weekend and if I'm ha having like a particularly spotty time and I feel like my makeup brushes should be washed more than that then I do so when as and when they need them I give them a proper good clean and I've been doing this for a very long time and this brush is still 
sticking around so it can't be a bad method. So all I do is I get all my brushes together, I trundle into the bathroom and I get a flannel and then to wash them I either use baby shampoo or quite a like antibacterial hand wash type thing, whatever's there really. I find that that's good because you know that it's getting rid of all the nasties in your brushes. Then I just wet the top of the brush or the bristles of the brush ever so slightly trying not to get this part of the brush which I think is called the ferrule. I think that's what it's called. Trying not to get this part of the brush wet because when water gets in there it's just a bit of a disaster. It can break down all the glue and cause loads of bacteria which is just a massive no-no. So I just put the underwater ever so slightly, then I put some baby shampoo or whatever I'm using into the palm of my hand, swill it around a bit and then run it out under the water just to get all of the shampoo foamy stuff out of it. And I reshape them and then I just quickly dry over the handle to make sure everything is dry. I sort of get the worst off on the back of a flannel just to get the most of the moisture out and then I lay them out on the side of like a dressing table or something and if you lay them on your side then all the water isn't going back into the ferrule of the brush so it makes them last longer if you dry them on their side and if you dry them off hanging off the side of something then you're going to keep the shape and it's not going to be flat on one side. So I hope that was helpful to some of you, thank you so much for watching and if you have any recommendations for what you'd like to see next do let me know. Thank you so much again and I'll see you guys soon, bye!